the key, listen. The Lord key, as I mean. The key is so I've never you some people When you come out, can you come out? Terrible accident. Um, windscreen was broken and, and 
you know, smoke was just coming out from the car, dust, everything. I was confused. And then I, <laughs> I managed to climb out from the front, the front of the car. You know, the windscreen was broken. I climbed out from the front and came out. And I actually thought I was, I thought I was dead. <clears throat> I actually thought I was dead because, uh, this thing happened on my way from Lagos. I left Lagos. I was driving to Asaba. So it happened. It happened uh, along somewhere around Ore, just before I got to Ore. I was doing maybe 120 or 140, you know, and then the car just lost control. I don't know what happened. Car started. Uh, I was holding the steering, steering wheel. I saw the car going this way, and then <clears throat> I tried to, I tried to turn it back and keep it straight. And then the car started heading this way. Hits, hits that uh, center. I think that device the road, the Corvette or something, it hit there and then the car just started uh, flipping up, somersaulting, and that was it. <coughs> now, by the time I came out, <coughs> excuse me, by the time I came out and I came out of the car, I was just standing, looking at the car, wondering what just happened and thanking God that I survived. I saw... Um, <coughs> Some people were just coming out from the bush, you know, rushing towards the car. I saw two people, they were rushing towards the car, but they didn't notice me. They ignored me, and they were just rushing to the car, looking into the car and shouting, ah, maybe the person is dead, who drove this car? But they just ran past me, so I was like, wow, these guys didn't see me, they didn't notice this is me. <laughs> that means it's it's possible that I'm dead. Maybe maybe my body is still inside the car, and then it was my spirit that came out. So I got quite curious. I now went. I started looking looking inside the car to see if I'll see uh, my body. I broke the the, the 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 side of the glass, the uh, uh, driver's side. I broke it. I looked inside. I was sure um, there was no body there. I didn't see my body, so that was when I realized that that was me, and then other people started coming, noticing me, and then <clears throat> a guy was driving past, stopped, he noticed me, and then he helped me pick up my stuff from the car and took me uh, down to the east where I finally went to the hospital, but it was a, it was, it was a nasty experience. I, I called that day the day I died, because... When that first hit happened, I actually passed out. I was knocked out. I feel, you know, with the pictures I saw that flashed before me, pictures of my life ended with my daughter's picture, and then the little voice that told me, Yule, it's over. If there's anything you wanted to do, you can't do it anymore. With those things that happened, I feel I just, I feel I, I feel I died on that day. And, and, uh, <coughs> excuse me. God, God just gave me a second chance and said, you'll come back to this world and, you know, and that's it. That was how I got back. And if you notice in the video, um, I was wearing, I had my rosary, I had my rosary on my neck. That was a black one. And, uh, in this, there's something like this, you know, that's it. I always wear this. I believe in God, I believe in God so much, you know, we're all sinners oh, at the end of the day. But I don't, I don't joke with my God. I believe in God so much, so I always wear my rosary, always. Um, in that video, when I had that accident, I had a rosary on. I had a black rosary on on my neck. If you watch that video, you see it. And I came out without any major, major injuries, just scratches on my hand. But it was a terrible accident, you know. And thank God I'm here today. I keep giving God all the glory. It's my story. I'll tell you guys more of it later. Just thank God for me. Thank God that I'm